waiting patiently. It's cop day, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Selling out everywhere online. Everywhere online. So y'all know what time it is, man. Give me sports. Let's get it. Y'all can see here, we just secured the bag. You know, I kind of like these little Lucy Green mids, man. People sleeping on mids, but I'm kind of awake. You smell me. Down on the kids. Look at these little LeBrons real quickity. Miggity splitty. And they got them DMPs chilling in the kids, y'all. Brown bronze. back to that bag though man people taking L's everywhere so you know how we do it all about the sneakers baby he's about to release y'all let me know what y'all think about these Kyrie's got that Illuminati in there 130 I don't have a Kyrie 6, but look at that, check that out. I don't have a Kyrie 6, but I want them, so this might be the one I come grab. Look at that. Yeah, these things sold out online. I was peeping game. The double up right there. Double up. Double up. Double up. Shout it. My damn D voice. Get them bread things for 90. Look at that y'all sitting on the shelf. Look at that, them things sitting like ducks. Look like a big size over, it's still they in here. Them things still in here. They're still in here. Of course they're in here. Super of the year right there. Y'all go check out my vid on those, my unboxing video on those. Fire. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what nobody say, they fire. They got them whole things in here. Future lows. Cyber lows. Or whatever they call. Got them purple. Still got my own nose since I missed out on the core purple. Look at that though. That's a smile sitting on the shelf. Go check out my unboxing on these right here. As y'all can see, you can get them for 90 bucks. Finish line. Might go after that one. What up YouTube, it is your boy, All About The Sneakers, back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now, 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 today was crazy, a crazy day. You already know what this video is about guys. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Again, we know what day today was, craziness as far as anyone trying to hit on the app about that right there as you can see that bulls logo 
the navy blue, the flint gray suede, and a little university blues, if you guys can see that right there. We are talking about the Air Jordan 13 flint, guys. Now, anyone who went after this shoe online, I'm sure, probably had a hard time copping the shoe. I went out and checked the sites early, nine o'clock, on the dot, central time a lot of the sites were already sold out sneakers app looked like it was sort of finessing people guys it looked like all of the sizes were available you could even add it to the cart but i'm pretty sure once you hit pay on that it probably shot you an error message um but anyways anybody who took an l on the site comment below anybody who got the w comment below with that Big W. Big ups to everybody who went after the shoe. If you did not hit on the shoe, there may be some restocks. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, personally, I'm not sure if it'll be the same case as it was with the Fire Red 5s and the DMP 6s, simply because a lot of the economy is starting to reopen in a lot of cities. And therefore, those shoes were kind of like quarantine, like specific type shoes. Now, a few stores did open up when the Fire Red 5 was dropping because I was able to pick my pair up in store. But the DMP 6, a little different case but even with the fire red fives not all stores were open in all cities and therefore i feel like a lot of the stock was online and of course we know the bots just gonna eat that stuff up but with this shoe a little bit different stores are open now some of the stores are not getting full inventory which does mean that they will do some restocks i'm pretty sure of it but how many i'm not too sure we already see with the metallic purple fours kind of what happened with that yeah there's been some restocks yeah, some of the shoes kind of sat on the shelf in stores that may have either gotten their pairs late or people wasn't aware that the stores were open, but the restocks were nowhere near significant as we saw with the Fire Red 5 or the DMP6. Therefore, that tells me that shoe, the Flint 13s, we may not see as many restocks. So hopefully you guys were able to secure pairs. If not, you may check some of those resale sites. Um, unfortunately, if you do have to go that route, you may spend a little extra money, but good luck on that guys, fingers crossed. Hope you can get the shoe. But anyways, guys, there is ton and ton and tons of reviews on this shoe. You did see earlier in the video how I caught mine. Yes, I did. Double up on the shoe. Thank you, Finish Line. Thank you, Hibbit, for those big pickups. I was able to hit on the raffle at both places. I actually hit on a third raffle thanks to my girl. But um, I wasn't able to get that shoe, guys, because Hibbit's in-store pickups have been a little bit different with the uh, social distancing. They are scheduling specific times to pick the shoes up and basically giving you a 15-minute window. Now, I had to travel to get one of my pairs, and I would have had to travel again to get the other pair. It was not an in-city pickup, and that's just kind of what I do, guys. If I really want a shoe bad enough, I'm gonna go get the shoe. So however I gotta do that is how I gotta do it. Anyways, I am glad that I was able to snag two pairs of this shoe. Two is enough. Next, we are gonna go after that hair six. I'm pretty sure you guys can stay tuned for an unboxing on that, guaranteed. But in the meantime, I'm excited to be able to bring you guys this Air Jordan 13 Flint review and unboxing. And so again, don't wanna take up a lot of you guys' time. With that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. Uh, let me know what y'all think about that hat too. You know, I had to go on and swag it out for the video um, on that hat. Gotta keep it matching with the shoes, you smell me? Anyways guys, let's get into it. All right, so as you see here, we do have a silver box. On the top of the box, we do get a red Jumpman logo in the center in an embossed circle and guys this is my first air jordan 13 pickup in a long time i did get the playoff version in high school that was my only other 13 i've ever had but this is my very first flint now i can't remember what that box looked like but i can bring this to you guys so i'm not too sure what the original box looks like but from what i'm hearing this does resemble the original box all right on one side of the box as you can see we do not have any branding and on the bottom of the box you can see we have some nike branding a little bit different than our typical branding that we're used to seeing with the nike and swoosh logos but however there is still nike branding on the bottom of the box moving on to the other side of the box we do not have any logos that we're typically used to seeing on some jordan boxes but we do have that size sticker and the size sticker reads air jordan 13 retro the colorway is navy university blue this is my personal pickup size 10 and as you can see the suggested retail value is 190 us dollars all right now let's see what we have under the lid as you can see here we do have a pop-up flip lid on the box there is no quality inspection stickers from what i can tell inside of the lid but don't let that fool you because i took a glance at the shoe and quality is there all right let's go ahead and get the shoe out and there you have it guys the air jordan 13 flint now let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe
All right, now, even though a lot of you may have seen this shoe before or you may have seen some reviews on this shoe, not everyone is familiar with the shoe, so I am going to go ahead and do a full review on the shoe just for the people who may not have seen a 13. This may be their first 13 they're ever seeing or their first pickup or maybe want to pick this shoe up. Let's go ahead and get started with this full review. And to go over the basis of the shoe here, as you can see, guys, we do have a white midsole with those little kind of elephant foot humps and as well on the midsole as we do have some gray suede that does go up to the mid panel of the shoe and of course here we have mesh on the upper with the little circles all over it and behind that mesh is some 3m reflective material now i'm not going to hit it with the light guys just because um, i'm trying to get this video recorded pretty quickly and get it up but if you do decide to pick up a pair of these you can go ahead and hit the flash on this and you will see that 3 inflective material now here guys we do get that 23 jumpman logo hologram that we are very accustomed to seeing on the air jordan 13 this is kind of what sets the shoe apart from any other air jordan it does have a hologram guys now back to that 3m material for them to put 3m on this silhouette is very nice because from what i hear the previous version that released 10 years ago did not have 3m and this is my very first pickup on this shoe as i mentioned already so i am very excited to see 3m on this shoe that really just makes it a little bit more special in my opinion. But that does pretty much wrap up the lateral side of the shoe. Moving on to the toe, as you can see, we do have white tumbled leather on the toe. And you can see that mesh kind of coming from the medial side that overlays pretty far down to the midsole front part of the shoe. And then it kind of just cuts off here and rounds off on the lateral side of the shoe, which gives it this distinctive look that we see on the Air Jordan 13 pretty dope in my opinion now we do have a black jordan tag with the white text jordan and we also get some white rope laces in place and these laces are pretty skinny so it does give it a clean look nothing too fat and overwhelming with the laces i like that thin clean look that we have on this shoe we would also get a white leather tongue with breathable holes and we also get that white lace loop there moving on up to the top of the tongue we get that varsity blue jump man some people consider it baby blue but that is really, really dope. Just gives us a whole nother perspective on the shoe in contrast to the navy blue and the white. It is just a good look to add that little hint of university blue there. Love the Jumpman logo on the shoe. All right, now on to the medial side of the shoe. As you can see, there is a lot more of the gray suede than we saw in the outer part of the shoe. But other than that, everything is pretty much similar as the lateral side of the shoe. And onto the back of the shoe, as you can see, the white from the midsole here kind of showing on each side of the shoe. We do get that gray suede that goes up from the midsole to the heel of the shoe, all the way up to the collar. And then you can see that blue mesh as well from the back. Just a really kind of swervy, cool, wavy type of look to the back of the shoe. I uh, really like how the shoe looks from the back. Here you kind of get this Gumby type of shape, Gumby hairdo type of shape. It's not just straight across on the back. It is kind of slanted and I really like how that looks there. But that is a little bit of the satin or mesh material from the sock liner. All right, known to the inner part of the shoe, as you can see, we do have a navy blue insole. And we do have that University Blue Jumpman logo on the insole. Again, we do get that satin sock liner or mesh. I do believe that satin. Again, don't quote me on materials, guys. I'm not too sure. But we do have navy there on the sock liner. And as you can see on the back of the tongue, we do get our sizing tag there. As well as we have a cardboard shoe tree inside. All right, last but not least, on to the outsole of the shoe. Off the bat, as you can see here, we do get that little kind of hologram look. University blue with the black Jumpman in the center. We do get the navy blue plastic with the white dots that do resemble carbon fiber. I don't believe it's real carbon fiber like we would see on the Air Jordan 11, but it is a pretty dope look for the shoe. We also get those cat print type of white hits all over the outsole of the shoe with an outlining in black, which I'm very happy for. As you know, I do like to have black on my outsoles. I don't like to dirty up my shoes. The more black that I have on the outsole, the more likely I am to actually undes and wear the shoe. But if it's just too much white, I'm a little bit leery about it. I don't like to dirty up my shoes. Anyways, guys, also here on the rear and the forefront of the outsole, you can see we do have some flint gray paint off in there but that is all there is really to discuss on this shoe guys i'm sure you have seen this time after time after time and again if you haven't 
there you have it everything you need to know as far as a review on this shoe now again guys go ahead comment below and let me know if you are able to score you a pair of these if you got that w or if you took that unfortunate l now i was not able to hit on that unorthodox shock drop that they did not on sneaker but on nike everyone thought it was sneaker and so i did take an l on that kind of messed up the whole move for the last episode of the last dance for me i really did not catch everything so i'm waiting for that to hopefully come to netflix guys because i was just so pissed off i was like man you know what i, I can't even sit here and watch the show i just kept trying over and over and over for forever trying to hit on that so with that said, guys, I am lucky and glad that I was able to get this shoe now. I knew it would be a little bit of a wait, but here you have it. And I'm now able to bring the unboxing to you guys right here on All About the Sneakers. Now let's go ahead and do one last quick 360 on the shoe. All right, and one last look at the shoe before we put it away. Alright guys, and that is all I have for you today on this episode. Again, a crazy day, crazy pickup. Um, unfortunately, not everybody got the shoe, but again, stick around and hopefully you can get a restock or you may have to go ahead and hit up the resale sites to get the shoe. But comment below, let me know what you think about the Air Jordan 13 Flint. Is it something that was highly sought after? Did you just get one pair? Did you double up, triple up? Whatever you did, comment below and let me know. But that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. Until the next episode, stay safe and keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, All About the Sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute. I'm out.